an example of factoring a function given one complex zero of the function. So here's what we give you. We give you this function. It's a cubic function. And we give you one of the zeros. It's a complex zero. So if we were to go out and graph this cubic function, which is the shape of a snake, this complex zero is not an x-intercept. And we're going to have another zero at negative 3i. The reason why is complex zeros occur in pairs. So we have one at 3i and then one at negative 3i. And then we have one left, which we have to find out. So let's start with the green 3i. So we want to factor out this 0 of 3 minus i. So as a factor, it's x minus 3i. So we're going to use synthetic division. So we have our placeholders x cubed, x squared, x constant. Now we put our coefficients in. 1, 1, 9, 9. We want our remainder to be 1. So we bring down the 1. Multiply 1 times 3i, and we get 3i. Add the column. 1 plus 3i is 1 plus 3i. Now here's where you may want to go off to the side. We want to multiply 3i times 1 plus 3i. So we distribute and distribute, and we get 3i plus 9i squared. If you remember i squared, i squared can be replaced with a negative 1. So we have negative 9 plus 3i. Now we add the columns, and the positive 9 and the negative 9 cancel out, and we're left with 3i. Now I'll multiply 3i times 3i, and we get 9i squared. Replace the i squared with a negative 1, and we get negative 9. Add the columns, 9 plus negative 9 is 0. We wanted our remainder to be 0. So now I'm just going to erase this scratch paper down here. So I have some room. So what I took out is this factor of x minus 3i from its original function. So I'm going to drop this a degree as an x squared, my x term, my constant, my remainder. So what I'm left with is this red circle. So in factored form, the function looks like this. We have that first factor of x minus 3i, which the 0 was 3i. Then we have 1x squared plus 1 plus 3i x plus 3i. We're going to continue using synthetic division. If you remember up here, this negative 3i is also a 0 of the function. So I'm going to just make this green a little bit bigger here. And we're going to factor out again, but now we're going to factor x equals negative 3i. As a factor, it's x plus 3i. So we're going to use this quadratic equation and factor out the x plus 3i. So x squared is my placeholder, x and constant. My coefficients are 1, 1 plus 3i, and 3i. So we bring down the 1. 1 times negative 3i is negative 3i. Add the columns together. Negative 3i and 3i cancel. So we're left with 1. 1 times negative 3i is negative 3i. Add them. They cancel. So you're left with 0. So you've now shown that that is also a 0 of the function, a factoring out of x plus 3i. So I drop a degree again. So now this is my x term, my constant, my remainder. So as a factor, what we're left with is x plus 1. Now I'm just going to rewrite this function in factored form. So I have f of x equals, and then I had that original green one that I factored out, and then my red one. So my green one was x minus 3i. My red one was 
x plus 3i, and then what we're left with is this purple x plus 1. What it asks for are the zeros of the function. So we use that zero product property, and we set them equal to 0 and solve for x. So we get 3i, negative 3i, and this last one of negative 1. 